I'm going to play solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you don't know how to play yet, there are links below the video to the lesson playlist. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play, and you want to improve your game, consider subscribing, and then click that bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on anything. Let's play solitaire. For Hong Kong Mahjong, we just need four sets and a pair of anything. We're going to say that we have a two fawn minimum though, so no chicken hands. No chicken hands allowed. That would be a zero point hand. We're going to say that it's the east round. So that might help bring some score. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to go ahead and get 14 random tiles for east and then I'll get 13 for each of the other players. Okay, everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for East. Wow, they have a lot of flowers. Look at that. Two, three, three, four. None of these flowers belong to this seat. This is seat one, and they have all these flowers. So I'm just gonna expose these to the lower right for their exposures and I'm going to get four replacements. Anytime you get flowers, you have to get replacements because those are not part of the hand. So let's see what we can try to do. We need a two fawn minimum. We're going to say there's the two fawn minimum. So we have to plan this hand for two fawn. I'm thinking they should try for a half flush leverage that pair of Wests. We could pung that. And then we have a potential chow here, potential chow here, and a potential pung. So they're really set up pretty nicely for a half flush. We do have five discards though, so that's gonna be a bit challenging, I think. Let's see what we can do for South. No flowers for south, probably because they're all here with east. And one of those flowers here is a two flower. So one of their flowers is already out. I'm thinking maybe they should try for a half flush too. They have quite a mixture. I don't know though, with no flowers, they might be able to do a, a, a all chow. They have a potential here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gotta have a five crack there. Here's a one, two, three potential, four, five. That's isolated. I think we'll just have to see, but there's a potential all chow hand here. And right now they have no flowers, so that's a fawn by itself. All chows is one fawn, no flowers is one fawn, so that's two fawn for them at the moment. Let's see what we can do for West. West has four honors, no pairs though in those honor tiles. That's a bit rough, actually. Now they do have five bams including a pair right here these other tiles are isolated three nine eight and five those are really far apart so i think i would try for a half flesh which is one suit with honors for west i think i would try for a half flesh for west let's see what north has They have a pung already, right here. Three of a kind, three crack, all three cracks there. They do have a pair of east winds as well. That's the wind of the round. So that might be able to 
give them some immediate score there if they get that pung taken care of early. I'm thinking right now they have no flowers, which is a fawn. Potential pung of the wind of the round. We should just try for the quickest win possible for them. All right, let's start by discarding. I think I would discard the nine bam for east. So we're just gonna discard randomly back there and nobody can take the nine bam. So we're gonna draw for south. They got a four bam. That is a potential chow here too. Either way, they need a three bam to make this a chow. But if we're gonna do all chows for them, we should go ahead and just get rid of these honor tiles right now. So let's discard that white dragon. Let's have them play all chow as quickly as possible. All chow, no flowers. Let's draw for west. Nobody can take that white, so we can draw. They got a one dot. Let's get rid of the nine dot for them. Nine dot. And nobody can take a nine dot, so we're going to draw for north. They got that white dragon, and a white was already thrown. Let's go ahead and get rid of it. And then we'll draw for east. Ooh, we got a two crack. Nice. Let's try to get them to a half flush. They have four discards. Let's throw the one bam. One bam, and we're going to draw now for south. South. They got a south. If we're going to have them play all chow, we need to get rid of these honors. So we're going to throw a south. And nobody can take a south. Let's draw four west. Ooh, they got a one dot. They got to have a pair in here somewhere. So let's just hold that. Let's go ahead and get rid of the cracks. Eight crack. And nobody can take an eight crack. So we'll draw four north. Oops. So that's an eight dot. That's another potential pung. Any pair is a potential pung. So here we have a potential pung. There's a pung, potential pung there. So let's look and see what's out. None of these are out yet except this nine bam. So let's throw the nine bam. Anytime you're playing all pung, get rid of whatever's been discarded because you want to try to pair up the remaining tiles. So I just threw a nine bam. Nobody could take a nine bam. You'd say, you might say to yourself, well, why can't this player here chow that with a seven, eight, nine? West cannot chow from north. You can only chow from the player on your left. In this case, south would be to the left of west. So they cannot take that. We're going to go ahead and draw for east. They got a two bam. That's not helpful. We're going to discard it. Two bam. And we will check for anybody being able to claim it. And they cannot. So we're going to draw for south. They drew a three crack. That's a good filler tile. They might be able to make a chow there or a chow there. There's lots of good chow potential in here. So let's, let's get rid of the west. So far, they don't have any flowers, so they're okay at the moment. Let's draw for west. Nobody can take that south, so. Oh, they just drew a one flower. So let's put it down here to the lower left and take in a replacement tile. They got a one crack, that's not helpful at all. Let's go ahead and discard the one crack. Now, east has a pair of ones. Let's pung it. So I'm going to take that one and we're going to expose it over here to the lower right. And they now have a pung. So we're going to discard the three bam. And it's South's turn. Let's go ahead and have them make a chow out of that. There's a one bam out already. Let's, let's go ahead and just chow the one, two for South with that three and we'll discard the four or no no let's discard the north we got to get rid of these honors so we just threw a north nobody can take a north so we're going to draw for west there's a six crack that's not helpful let's throw the t the three dot though we're trying to get them to a half flesh so three dot was discarded nobody could take a three dot let's draw for north 
they got a seven crack so looking at what is out we're trying to pair up none of these are out so it's just kind of arbitrary at this point let's throw the two dot and then we can draw for east they got a six dot that's a pair tile but we're trying to do a half flush here let's throw the seven dot and nobody can take the seven dot so we're going to draw for south they got an eight bam that is uh, not helpful these are all isolated here this is a potential chow potential chow potential chow potential chow they still need a pair let's go ahead and discard the eight dot and north has a pair of eight dots so we're going to pung it so i'm going to put that in the upper left and we'll discard a seven crack and it is now east turn and nobody can take that seven crack we got a three dot let's discard that here south's turn let's have them chow there's a chow let's see chow with was that a three dot three dot so now we can discard the four bam they still don't have a flower so that is a pretty risky plan no flowers with all chows let's hope that they don't draw a flower okay unless it's their own of course okay so now we just threw a four bam so we can draw four west nine bam that's a good keeper for them they have a seven eight nine now this also could be a pair which they need to have in that suit let's go ahead and discard the five crack nobody can take the five crack so let's draw for north four bam that's been thrown so let's go ahead uh, actually a two bam and a four bam have been thrown we're trying to do an all pung for them let's just throw the four bam and draw for east okay white dragon there are two out might as well throw it and draw for south oh eight bam that's good they need a pair tile so now we have to figure out what is going to be a good tile to discard here's their pair they've already got here they have a one two three in bams here's a three four five in dots so they're in mixed suits so here we have a pair and then this is a one a two three two-sided weight where they can get a one dot or a four dot so that's a good set to keep here we have a an outside weight or an edge weight where we have a one two and then we need i'm sorry this is a middle weight we need a two crack in here one two three and here we need a four five this is another middle weight there's one five crack out let's go ahead and discard the four crack for them nobody can take a four crack so we're going to draw for west oh they got an east okay so that's a good potential pung tile there let's throw the six crack nobody can take a six crack for from west so we're going to draw for north we got an eight crack i believe there are no eight cracks out let's see five dot two let's throw the two bam there's already a two bam out so there's a two bam out now and we're going to draw for east they drew a two flower so we're going to put that out and take in a replacement tile there's a two dot that's a discard two dot and nobody can take that so let's draw for south okay they got a six bam let's go ahead and get rid of that six crack nobody can take a six crack so we're going to draw for west they got a green dragon that could help them get to a half flush let's get rid of the nine or the one dot we'll sacrifice the ones to get them to a half flush and we'll draw for north seven bam there are no seven bams out none of these tiles are out at the moment so it's arbitrary at this point let's throw the five dot nobody can take a five dot so we'll draw for east 
9 bam. That has been discarded twice now, so that's a good discard. 9 bam. And we will go ahead and draw 4 west, I mean south. 6 dot, that's a discard. 6 dot, we're going to draw 4 west. 5 crack, that's a discard. And we're going to draw 4 north. 7 bam, that's a good potential pung tile. Let's throw the 8 crack. Okay, now we're going to draw for east. Seven dot, that's a discard. Let's draw for south. Nine crack, that's not helpful at all. So we're going to throw that and draw for west. Five crack, that's not a keeper for them. They need bams. So five crack was thrown. We're going to draw for north. Oh, they just got a four flower. That's nice because they had no flowers and they happened to draw their own flower. If you are playing and you have no flowers, that's a fawn. If you draw a flower and it's yours, you're basically just exchanging a fawn. This is a, a worth a fawn because it is their seat flower. So he, he is a good to go. Let's take a replacement tile. And we've got a four bam. There, those have been thrown. We're going to discard the four bam and draw four east. One bam. That is a discard. Drawing four south. Six crack. Discard. Drawing four west. Four crack. That is a discard. Drawing four north. Nine crack. That's been thrown already, I believe. Nine crack is out. Um, yep, there it is. Nine crack. So we'll throw that and draw four east. Oh, there's a keeper. Finally. Okay. Now they have some chow potential here with the seven, eight. There's a potential chow. Here's a potential pung and here's a potential pung. Let's go ahead and sacrifice the six dot and draw four south. Nine dot. That is a discard. Drawing four west. 3 dot, discard, drawing 4 north, 1 bam. Let's see, they have a pung of 8 dots. They're going for all pung. So that 1, even though a potential 1, 2, 3, you might think, well, why not play chows? If you mix suits with chows, you're going to kill your score. So I'm going to get rid of the 1 bam. We're going to try for all pung there. Let's draw for east. Six bam, that's a discard. Drawing four south. They got a north, that is a discard. They're trying for all chows. And now we are going to, let's look really quick at the flower situation. We've got east with five flowers. None are theirs, okay? And two of them are twos and two of them are threes. So these players here will not get score for any flowers. So there's five there. And then we have one for west, which is a one, and one for north, which is a four. So there's still one more flower out. Right now, south is safe with an all chow hand with no flowers. It is west draw now. We drew a two crack. That is not a keeper here. So we're going to throw that two crack. East can pung it because we have a pair. So we're going to take that and pung. So now they have a pung of ones right here. And now they have a pung of twos. All in cracks. Let's get rid of this six dot. Turns get skipped when you pung sometimes. So six dot was thrown. Nobody can take it. Let's draw four south. Four crack. Oh, that's a good keeper tile. Maybe. They don't need this six. Here they can do either a three, four, five, or a two, three, four. So let's go ahead and throw away the six bam. They're one away from being ready. Six bam was discarded. And let's now look at West. They can chow that. We have a potential chow here. Here's a seven, eight, nine here. And here's a seven. You know, I think if we did a six, seven, eight here with that six bam, 
that would leave them with a potential chow tile. Let's go ahead and declare a chow with that six, six, seven, eight right there. Six, seven, eight for west. So we'll put that down here to the left and discard a one dot. And let's go ahead and draw for north. Two dot, that's a discard. Let's draw for east. Five bam, that is a discard. Drawing for west, I mean, um, drawing for south. They did get a chow here, two, three, four. Let's throw away the one crack and they're ready for a two crack or a five crack. Now there are three two cracks out and there are none in the discard pile. And I believe there are two five cracks out. There are three five cracks. So their hand with this particular waiting chow here, this is a uh, two-sided weight. They could win on either a two crack or a five crack. That's viable. Let's throw the one crack. They are ready. So we just threw a one crack. Let's draw for west. Five dot, that is a discard. Drawing for north, three bam, that's a good keeper. They need to pung. Let's go ahead and throw the six bam. It's already been thrown. Let's draw for east. They got a three bam. We're gonna discard that because they're playing cracks and we're gonna pung for north. So now they have two pungs. They have a pung of eight dots and a pung of three bams. And we're now gonna discard a west. They're ready to win on a seven bam or an east. So we're throwing a west and east can actually pung that. So we're gonna take that west and make a pung out of that. And we're gonna discard the green dragon, I think. We still need a pair in here. Let's throw the green. Nobody can take the green, so we're gonna draw for south. Nine dot, that is a discard. Drawing for west. They got a one flower, and that was the last flower. We're gonna take a replacement. Two crack. So that is the last flower. So south is now breathing freely. They are okay with that no flower fawn. So they're good to go. Okay, so they drew a two crack and they're in all bam. So we need to discard the two crack, which is a winner for south. Mahjong with south. We have a pair of eights. Here's a two, three, four, a two, three, four in dots. Then we have a one, two, three in bams and a three, four, five in dots. So they won with an all chow hand, no flowers. That's too fun, which meets the minimum. This player was a pair away from being ready. They needed to get a pair in here. This player was quite a ways away. They had two potential chows and a potential pung but these guys were fighting each other because they each had that pair. This player here was ready on either a seven bam or an east. It was locked up though here with the seven bam here. I don't think there were any seven bams out, so this was still a viable hand. So south was our winner. If you would have done something different for any of those hands, write it in the comment section. There's a fine line between going for that all chow quick win, no flower option. Boy, you are just racing against the wall, hoping not to get a flower that doesn't give you score, but it worked out this time. It's a bit of a risky plan. If you ever choose to go that route, and if you happen to draw a flower that is not yours, just play defense and try to get to the end of the game without throwing that winning tile and then start over. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn some new strategies or gain some insights into the game that'll give you an advantage at the table, maybe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe and then click that bell so you get notification for when I post new videos.
Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.